Now, the CBS3 Duluth Weathermax forecast with meteorologist Dave Anderson. Well, the day started a little bit gray, maybe a touch gloomy and a little bit chilly as well. But when the sun popped out for a lot of places in the afternoon, temperatures went back up and did all right. Pretty close to normal for this time of year. Hibbing, 61. Duluth Airport, 61. Silver Bay at 61 as well. Even 58 in Hayward's really not so bad for October staring you in the face. A little bit cooler perhaps towards Grand Marais up the Gunflint and then down towards the shore. But even 54 degrees isn't so bad. Well, I think we're probably going to follow suit and end up with temperatures like Grand Marais tomorrow. And then that's just a stopgap measure because after tomorrow, we could dip into the 40s for a couple of days, but not forever. There will be a warm-up coming back. We'll tell you when in just a bit. Right now, we'll tell you about the current conditions at the airport. It's 60 degrees there, 53% for the relative humidity. Westerly, southwesterly wind is running 13 miles per hour and could gust towards 20 as a low pressure system works through our region tomorrow afternoon, bringing a chance for some thunderstorms. Air pressure right now, 29.64 inches of mercury, 1,004 millibars is already on the lower side since we're caught between two low pressure systems. Temperatures right now run lower to mid 50s in the upper peninsula, so not everybody has it hot right now. And we're looking at upper 50s to lower 60s in northwestern Wisconsin and a similar range of temperatures happening for our friends in Minnesota. Cool spot seems to be right by the lake in Grand Marais, at only 49 degrees and day after tomorrow 40s is probably what we're going to get for at least two days before things start to mellow out and warm up once again. So here's the rain showers from earlier this morning. Nothing overly vigorous, nothing we had to send any alerts out for. There is still a little bit of rain activity happening in the arrowhead of Minnesota but again a lot of towns have sunshine at this hour but it shall not last. Number one sunset will put the kibosh on that of course and the approach of this second low pressure system brings back the clouds after midnight we get a chance for the showers to return just in case your town doesn't have them right now. And by tomorrow afternoon it brings a 60% chance for showers and thunderstorms. Not expecting anything severe but uh, if you're right under one of those cumulonimbus clouds you could get a downpour, which may give you some decent rain totals. Then come Thursday, higher pressure settles in for at least a little while. It may not clear up our sky very much, but at least it'll dry us up before this next low brings us a shower chance on Saturday. Now, let's take a look at our forecast for tonight in Minnesota, where low temps will be perilously close to the 30s up north, 40 International Falls, 40 for the Ely Tower area, and then 41 to 47 for much of the rest of the region. 40% shower chance after midnight, 50% chance for it coming into Wisconsin and Michigan, low temps there in the lower 40s. For tomorrow daytime highs, Wisconsin and Michigan, 53 to 56. 70% chance for those afternoon and evening showers and thunderstorms there. 60% shot for folks in Minnesota with high temps in the 50s. And now with the extended forecast, here comes that, uh, that rundown in temperatures. They go down from 55 Wednesday to only 45 or so, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. But once Saturday's little trough of lower pressure goes and we get that shower chance, Kristen, uh, back to 50 on Sunday and 60 by next Tuesday. All right. This weekend I did the whole switcheroo with my summer and spring clothes oh, yeah. and brought out the fall stuff. So here we are. And brought in the dock too, right? That's right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Got it done. Sad time of year. It is. Thanks, Dave. Well, speaking of sadness, some sad news.